Good morning, folks, and welcome to Minerals, Rocks, and Fossil Talks. I am your paleontology teacher, Jen, and today is Wordplay Wednesday. We are going to talk about the word holotype. So, you've probably seen me use this word a few times this month. But, what exactly is a holotype? It's really simple, actually. So, a holotype is a single specimen used to describe and name a species. For example, FMNHP 25107 is the holotype specimen for Brachiosaurus altothorax. The holotype consists of a right humerus. Oh, I should do the right one. I know it's backwards, so. The holotype consists of a right humerus a right femur, the right ilium, the right coracoid, the sacrum, so your sacral vertebrae are kind of in your hips here, the last seven dorsal vertebrae, so your back vertebrae, two caudal vertebrae, which are the tail, and then several ribs. So that means that every Brachiosaurus found after this holotype has been described must be compared to this specimen. Already seeing a bit of a but what if? So what happens if you find an animal that doesn't have any of those elements, any of those particular bones? Well, you can make some pretty good educated guesses, but you cannot officially say it belongs to that particular genus or species. Most of the time what happens is you'll have like one or two elements that are the same and then other parts of the body that are found with different specimens, which makes it really easy. But then sometimes you have problems like the controversy with Troodon. So there's a big controversy with Troodon because Troodon's holotype is a singular tooth. So that means everything afterwards has to be described off of that tooth. Now that works with mammals. Mammals all have very, very individual teeth depending on which mammal you are. It's very easy to distinguish them. I can't, but I'm not a mammal paleontologist. If you talk to one of them, they can nail it down, I'm sure. Dinosaurs do not have this unique separation. So if we look here, this is just like an assort... Uh, an assorted array of various theropod teeth, and they all look very, very similar. We would not want to try and base any animals just off of their teeth in Dinosauria. Now, Troodon does have very, very unique teeth for a dinosaur. There hasn't been anything else found with teeth like it. So, so far it works, and we do have nearly complete or complete specimens. I'm not totally in the know, which I should be because my advisor is like the one who described them, but it's Cretaceous and that's not my thing. Sorry, dad. Anyway, they have very unique teeth and many of the specimens that they do have with complete or nearly complete skeletons do have these teeth. So it's um, likely that they are the same thing. But if we try to do the same thing with other dinosaurs, it will not have the same effect. Um, we have this big problem in sauropods. They like to name sauropods after femurs, and we really shouldn't be doing that because all sauropod femurs basically have the same shape and all of that. There's nothing terribly different other than like macronarians might have a slightly longer humerus than they do femur. You know, it, theirs might be shorter than other sauropods, but macronarians also tend to be large, so maybe it doesn't even matter. But you get the point. Naming it something after a single element, unless it is a skull, is really not a good idea. But, on to some less controversial things. <laughs> Homo sapien. That's us. What about a holotype for us? Well, we don't actually have a holotype for humans. 
Edward Drinker Culp, yes, one of the guys from the Bone Wars, was very full of himself, and he offered to be the holotype specimen. He described Homo sapien, and then was going to use his own body as the holotype, but um, upon his death, they found out that he had like something like cephalus. So he's not really a good specimen for that. So it didn't really work out. Which means we, we just don't have a holotype for Homo sapien right now. Which, you know, I think Zuko gets this uh, quite right if he were to speak to Cope about this. That is, it is a rough buddy, but maybe you should have kept it in your pants. Anyway, I hope you guys learned a new word to add to your vocabulary, and I hope to see you all tomorrow where you can learn about baby sauropods. Whee! Everybody loves babies, right? Hope to see you tomorrow. Fossilize you later.